sharing with you my most asked about and complimented gold jewelry from rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, you name it all here for you in this video i'm so so excited because it definitely is a range you know i am a gold jewelry girly but that does not always mean gold plated and spending a lot of coins so you're gonna get an idea of where i love to shop for gold jewelry in general plus the brands that i gravitate to not just for affordable jewelry but long lasting jewelry as well so grab your little drinky drink and if you happen to be new here i am jordan blackwell former materials engineer turned lifestyle content creator helping you find not just what's gonna look good because baby of course we are going to look good but what feels good as well because that is honestly the killer piece that you are probably missing to having that zest that za and that wardrobe you absolutely love and if you are tuning back in welcome back diving right in we're going to start with bracelets i feel like that's the easiest to go ahead and share with you first off from jc penny that's right you heard me right jc penny the jc penny this class bracelet could not have been more than ten dollars now i will not lie how gorgeous how stunning i love that detailing and if you know me you know i just love animal prints and things like that so this is just such a fun textural piece however it is not gold plated at all it's about three years old and as you can see there's very little tarnishing like very little wear starting to show for being three years old however this is not currently available on JCPenney, but don't worry before you panic. Amazon, yep, that's right. Amazon has something very, very similar. It isn't clasp style, but it is an elastic style. And I have really been tapping into Amazon recently because their jewelry selection, I don't know what rock I was living under, but I was snoozing on their selection. So I made sure to link to the similar one on there for you guys. Next up, definitely an investment, but totally worth it. This is from Soko. And if you are looking for brands that not only are going to be quality, but support local artistry, support local creatives, Soko is that brand. These are made in Kenya. All right, like how gorgeous, like you can hear, like hear that? And then how gorgeous is just the styling. It's this beautiful wavy design, which I really, really love. And it's so high quality. Like I said, this is gold plated. It's going to be a little bit more of an investment, but absolutely worth it. Because you know what? The engineer in me, the sustainable engineer in me is never going to go away, even if that's not my current job anymore. So I love to find brands like this, like that are supporting everybody in the production chain of making their pieces all the way down to the creatives, making sure that they are getting paid well to be able to create and make these gorgeous pieces. Like how great, I just, this next one, I literally get asked about all the time on the streets, walking around my absolutely gorgeous Imani jewelry Cuban link bracelet. How, and again, you can hear it, this is, this is gold plated, this is real. You can hear, you can hear that weight to it, right? And it's got this really awesome, just like clasp detail. How nice is that? It just really gave like big dog energy. I will not lie, I'm the big dog, okay? And I, I do like to have chains to match and that's why I'm really, really obsessed with this. I mean, it is so gorgeous. I'll make sure to share the sizing for the bracelet specifically because those I have not measured out the necklaces I know for sure but these ones it's like how do I aesthetically show y'all me struggling to put on this bracelet. This is what it looks like on how gorgeous is this and again it has these nice side clasps these nice side clasps to make sure that this does not fall off so it's going to stay all night right right Come on, and this in itself is just a statement piece, but it's also really great to layer with other bracelets that you have. I'm slowly starting to get better with my arm candy game. I feel like I finally have my go-to necklace combo pack. I'm gonna show that later when we get into the necklaces, but I will not lie, me and my bracelet stack, we are still navigating our way through that, but I'm gonna get it together, I'm gonna get it together. And this bracelet from Imani Jewelry is absolutely the start that I needed. Last for the bracelets, if you wanna be a little bit more bling tennis girly, this, pave bracelet from love aj with with the cutest little class how adorable is that i really love this this is again for like my more daintier days the days where it's like again you want a little bit of shine a little bit of length but not too too much right it's so easy to get on and look at that sizing like look at that baby look at her shine look at her sparkle this is a good everyday bracelet give a little bling bling for my ling ling if you know that movie reference 
I mean, I hope you know that movie reference, but literally Love AJ has so many fun bracelets. And the reason I specifically love Love AJ's bracelets is because they are on the smaller side. So if you are somebody who is not ready to have really big, big jewelry, this is gonna give you a great place to start with like a small statement piece and easy to stack bracelets on top of this. Like this is definitely a great stacking bracelet. But with this, you know what I mean? Like now we're getting it. Mm, wait a minute. I mean, this is close to what I would wear, but I will be honest, I don't usually mix tones as much, even when it comes to wearing gold. So I do love this again by itself, just a little bit of shine, just a little bit of shimmer to add to my outfits. And that's what I love about good jewelry, especially personally gold jewelry. I just think it looks so good with my skin tone, but it's such an easy way like to elevate your looks because that's what we're trying to do, right? Whether you're gonna reach for a very simple workout set and you wanna add just a little bit of bling, a little bit of personality, or you're looking to step up again, just like your workwear, things like that. I have always, always relied on jewelry to be that little bit of zest, that little bit of za that really just makes my outfit stand out and add that personality that I'm looking for. Let's dive into the earrings, starting with my most asked about. I wonder if you can guess what they are. And no, they're not the ones that I'm wearing. These are from Forever 21, which I do love actually as a great place to find inexpensive jewelry, to find inexpensive jewelry. But the other place, Fashion Nova. That's right. I first got these earrings from Forever 21. This one's the Forever 21 one I've had for like two or three years. I just got this one from Fashion Nova. They are the same exact size, the same exact metallic shine. However, you can just see that this one has way more wear because this literally, I will wear this sweat, rain, shine. I don't care when it comes to like costume style jewelry. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna get it wet. It's probably gonna get ruined. I do try to use the nail polish hack. If you've ever heard of that, grabbing your clear nail polish, putting on a little bit of layer to help protect it longer. But, but simply just making sure that I dry off my jewelry and keep it in a nice dry place does keep it from tarnishing as much because I really thought that this would be like way gamier, like way grosser, considering how much, considering how much I wear these out and about, but they look really, really good. So if you are looking for these earrings and you've seen me wear these all the time, don't worry, link below are these Fashion Nova babies. Like they are so, of course, gonna put one on for you. Like, right, just big, just textured. I'm a hoop girly, but I don't want boring hoops. So these help to keep my hoops from being boring, help to stand out. For me, these are actually more of an evening earring, I would say, than like an everyday out and about. But on occasion, I'll pop out with these on, you know, show a little something, something, add a little pizzazz and razzle dazzle because they're just so cute and like not even $10, right? So for me, that's the other thing when I am looking for jewelry like this. I don't feel like it needs to break the bank. I am very much if I can find it at a good price. And I'm also someone who takes care of her things, like not just jewelry, but clothes. So that's why my inexpensive finds always last so long because baby, if I'm spending my money on it, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. And I'm gonna try and make sure to keep it from getting damaged as best as possible. So these babies that you always, always ask about, now on Fashion Nova. I'm gonna keep this earring off so I can show you the next pair. And that is these Shop Koi earrings, woman owned, black owned. If you happen to keep up with my vlogs, you know I have family in Chicago. My grandfather's in like the Bolingbrook area. Bolingbrook, why did I say Bolingbrook? <laughs> Bolingbrook area. And my brother lives actually in Chicago with his wife. So I am there probably like once a month, once every other month hanging out with family. So I finally got to go into the Koi studio, her physical location, which is in Chicago, where I did get to try on a bunch of her earrings and I settled on this gorgeous pair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're probably sensing a theme, right? When it comes to earrings, it can be a little bit tricky because you do not only need to take your face shape into account because they can make your face look a little bit fatter or a little bit slender depending on your look. But that also depends on the neckline of your pieces as well. So many of us, we are looking at the girlies trying to recreate the jewelry stack, the ear stack, the necklace stack, and we keep forgetting it's not just our face shape we have to pay attention to, but the tops that we're wearing as well. All of that's gonna play together in how these pieces look and work for you. But as you can hear, again, gold plated, but not too heavy that your ears are going to be tired. I just love these again. Another statement earring, I can throw on just like an easy white tee and have these on as a extra, extra pop. Cause you can just see like compared to these earrings from Forever 21, it's just not hitting the same. It's not giving what it needs to give the same. So the shop coy earrings, of course, I totally understand why I get stopped every single time I have these on because they truly just make a look. The next earring I actually get asked about is for my top 
piercing. So I got that pierced back in, I wanna say college is when I went ahead and got this pierced. And so the earring that I always, always wear up there is from Mayuri. It is this gorgeous golden crescent earring. It is part of a set. I lost the other earring. <laughs> and that is actually how I started wearing this earring on top. But it looks so gorgeous and again, you're probably noticing a theme when it comes to the jewelry that I am choosing. And it's that I'm choosing ones with texture. And that is so intentional, right? It's very easy to grab just like plain hoops and things like that. But I have just found that little bit of texture if you can find the wrap around the dome styling, like I said, on Mayuri, which this is real gold, like not just gold plated, this is their Verme gold, which I really, really love. They are, I know that they have some hit or miss reputation when it comes to their gold jewelry, but I really, really love it. I have not found any issues. This is probably five or six years old and no tarnishing or any issues with that. So I really, really love that for the price point. And again, as a piece, I'm gonna wear every day to see. See, like even that little bit of texture just makes the earrings kind of match and flow together into the overall look. And that's something I'm always, always keeping in mind when it comes to picking out jewelry. Now this next pair of earrings is an honorary ad because I literally get hounded, hounded about these earrings, though they are not technically gold plated, but I wanted to show you because this is a brand I feel like so many people are sleeping on. If you are looking for good, like affordable statement jewelry, Sashi, right? So you've seen me wear a couple of different pairs from Sashi, but they are the ones that usually have these really fun, gorgeous kind of rattan style earrings in different colors, in different shapes. These are literally so great. They go with everything. I love these as, not just honestly, I do love these as an everyday earring, but I also love these as like a vacation statement earring. It just literally polishes off. Look, hold on, trying to get the back here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm really bad with these long press on nails. Like as much as I love the look, I'm still so useless when it comes to <laughs> wearing these nails. Oh my goodness. Right. And as you can see, they're smaller in comparison. I think these are about these are about a half an inch in diameter. And I really find that I don't like to go any smaller than this unless I'm doing a huggy earring. For my face shape and just generally for most of the tops I'm wearing, this size or bigger is what I trend towards. But how gorgeous is she? Like, right? Right, and this is another style, like I said, Sashi does really, really well for most of their pieces being under 100, under 50 bucks, and they last a really, really long time. Like, look at this. This is, again, another four or five year old piece of jewelry, and it's not coming apart. It's not stained like too, too horribly from all the makeup, all the sweat, all the swimming, all the things. So that's the other reason I really, really love Sashi. You can find them on Revolve. And of course I've linked all of my top picks from them below for you. Now let's get into the rings cause these are something I'm asked about all the time. I actually don't have any of my most asked about on because I wanted to show you. Starting off first and foremost, my most asked about ring is my rich bitch ring. This is from a local boutique in Detroit. They no longer have a store location, but they are called Burby and yes, they are online. So you are able to shop this ring for my index finger. I don't know how you guys measure. I literally do some measuring tape. I'm usually a size eight to nine for most of my rings, except for my, except for my ring finger and my pinky ring. So this is a size eight. And as you can see, it's still fairly roomy. And I love just like the chunky style of this. And I've really been obsessed with starting to layer this ring more and more with my other jewelry. It's just, it's just a statement piece because you sometimes need to remind these that you are indeed a rich bish. Like even if it's rich in spirit, baby, like this to me is one of my manifestation rings. The reason I put this ring on every day and my more self-love ring, which is also from the same place from Bird Bee and available, is these to me are like my daily manifestation manifestations to myself. I like to remind myself I am rich and sometimes it may not be financially. It may be in experience, it may be in community, it may just be in the moment and to show myself more self-love. So that's the other thing I'm always keeping in mind when picking my jewelry is obviously not just what's gonna look good, but there is intentionality behind the pieces I'm choosing, not just spending money for money's sake to build out my gold jewelry wardrobe which brings me into the next most asked about piece. And that is also this love ring that I wear with my more self love ring all the time. And it's got the cute little like peace symbols and it spells out love. I have bought this in four different sizes just to make sure that I could wear them on every single finger if 
I wanted to. And this is also from Bird B as well. They still have all the sizes. So I'm really, really excited about that because I was so nervous when they shuttered their doors because Detroit's really kind of in this weird space in terms of shopping downtown. Like it's very, very limited. So Bird B used to be that spot. Like I used to love getting up on Sunday, grabbing my coffee, having a quick brunch and just walking around in there really just getting inspired. So I'm really glad they still have their online space and this jewelry is still available because the other thing that I will do, I'll buy multiples. So I have two rich picture rings and I have one that is like, I only wear for like special, special occasions cause it's still nice and gold. But as you can see, this is probably like four or five years old. And you can start to see that the gold is coming off just a little bit, but keeping in mind, I do literally wear this ring like every single day. So not only like all the lotion, things like that, but also as I do my ring stacks, the jewelry like clinking against each other, that's gonna lead to tarnishing as well. And same with like my more self love ring. You can see that it's starting, you can see that it's starting to lose a little bit of the gold, but this is multiple years in, right? And none of these rings were more than like 40 bucks. So I really, really love that as well. Again, like good gold plated jewelry that will last you for everyday wear it does not have to break the bank. My next most asked about ring is my name plate ring. This is from Oak and Luna. So it's so, so cute. Hold on, I'm trying to get the zoom just right. Because not only can they do your name, they have a cute little design underneath it as well. This is gold plated. I got it in a nine because I wanted to wear it like a boss on my middle ring. Again, just another reminder. This is definitely a little bit more of an investment piece, but one that is so worth every penny, right? Like I'm not into the whole, like, let me wear the designer's name on me. I'd rather have my own name and spend my money having my name on me than some designer. So this was a birthday gift to myself back in 2019 when I first really started deciding that I was gonna take this space seriously and really start showing up for you guys, for myself, and that I am JB, I'm Jordan, I am the J. And so the nameplate ring, I really, really love. The only, only warning I'm gonna give you, because this is a little bit pointier with my name and the J, this does get caught on your more like dainty fabrics. So keep that in mind. Like I will not wear this obviously if I'm gonna wear crochet or knits or anything like that because you don't want it to accidentally snag. So depending on your name, this, don't get me wrong, I love it and I wear it all the time, but you do wanna just be mindful again because you wanna make sure that you're not gonna ruin any of your amazing pieces with your jewelry, trying to elevate that look, right? Last up, my most asked about ring is this one, just a very easy signet ring. This is from Biella Vintage. Now, I will say they were an Instagram brand to me. Like I was going through IG, as you do, and all of a sudden that sparkly new brand pops up and you're like, 40% off everything. The rings are only gonna be like $20, $15, and they're supposed to be gold-plated, waterproof. Mm, mm, mm. I spent the money and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. But finally, three weeks later, <laughs> The rings actually did come and when I say these are some of my favorite gold plated rings I've had these also for like three or four years and as you're seeing like none of the gold has tarnished and I do wear this Almost like an everyday ring as well and the other one that I have from them is This one another really cool texture just like everyday ring and as you can see like no tarnishing They are great quality now. You might be waiting a couple weeks. Okay. You might be waiting three ish weeks for these to show up. But when I tell you, you are not gonna be disappointed. They were worth every penny and usually Biela Vintage has a site-wide sale. So that's the other time I will usually like snag these cause these are great rings just for stacking. Again, just to really build out your ring game. My biker ring game as I like to call it. I don't know why I'm just really, really inspired by just like biker rings and also just like old school gangsters. I'm really trying to find a good pinky like signet. Like if you saw the gentlemen, I feel like they all have just like a really good gold pinky ring. And now I just feel like I'm a gangster, aren't I? Like maybe not, let me not lie to y'all. I'm definitely not a gangster. Um, I've always, always, always loved that aesthetic. So I have been on their site trying to find a good pinky ring from there because I've just loved not only the price point, but the quality for their gold ring. Now for your ultimate favorites, I always get asked about my necklaces and my necklace stack. As I have been pulling it together, you've probably seen me getting my life on IG. So starting with your most asked about, one of my favorites, this queen necklace from Liela May. Look at her, look at her. 
she a queen so i really really love this this is gold plated the link is a little bit thicker i would say than obviously most which i really think is great because it helps to make kind of a statement as well as you wear this this is 18 inches okay and so i'm gonna show you hopefully you'll be able to see so this is where 18 inches lands on me right like it's not all the way down in the cleavage that's like a 20 inch to 24 inch those just aren't my personal favorite but i find the 18 is a great one to have because then from here you can do a 16 and a 14 if you're looking for like that three necklace layering or if you want like a couple of really short 14s up here right it's just a very beautiful layering necklace again i got this intentional to remind myself that i am in fact a queen in every single meaning so this is one of those everyday stacking necklaces that i just love to reach for and woman owned black owned you might be sensing a theme i have at least one woman owned black owned in every single category because one of the promises I made in 2020 when the pandemic hit and we just kind of saw how the resources were being divvied out to businesses was I really wanted to make a conscious effort for every dollar I spent at a non-woman owned, non-black owned like company. I wanted to spend equally on a woman owned, black owned. Like I really want my money to be impactful and that's one of the biggest reasons that you do see such a mix from me. Like, like yeah, you're gonna see me in Target, Fashion Nova, things like that, H&M. I'm never gonna say no to those brands. They have my heart, okay? However, I also am very intentional to make sure that every time I'm in those stores, I am working to support a woman-owned, person of color-owned store, whether that is in the same industry or a different industry. I personally find a lot of my teas, a lot of my wellness stuff definitely comes from woman-owned, black-owned, but a lot of my jewelry as well, I find really, really great pieces. Next up to the comment I made earlier, this gorgeous necklace from Abbott and Lion. You've probably seen this pop up on Instagram, maybe on your YouTube feed. They do the customized necklaces and this is why I'm not gonna spend money on the little Dior necklace, okay? I'm not doing it. Why would I have their initials when I can have my own in real gold plated jewelry, okay? This is a 14 to 16 inch, so I love that because I can either make this a cute little choker or I can wear it a little bit longer as a layering piece. And the other thing about Abbott Lion that I don't think a lot of people know or think about, this is the length at the 16 inches, is they have a two year warranty with their jewelry, okay? And as someone who worked in the automotive industry, I'm wondering why this is not more of a thing across higher end brands. Why there's not a standard warranty policy for a lot of expensive purchases. So I love that for two years, this is absolutely covered. If it gets tarnished, if it gets broken, they are going to fix it for you and make sure that you are satisfied with the necklace that you receive. And that kind of customer service, I'm always going to pay top dollar for. Like, let me have one bad customer service experience, okay? Okay, because I actually spent a couple of years during my time at GM working on the customer service side whenever we would have issues with warranty with our vehicles. And so that is where I really, really love seeing this play out in the fashion industry because it is not as regulated in terms of how long your products need to last, what the company is responsible for repairing and what they aren't. So when brands like Patagonia, which are not designer brands, started their repair program, that was such a huge deal to me. And even though I'm not a outdoorsy fashion girl like that, Patagonia is one of the first brands I do look at. And that's the other reason I love Abbott and Lion and look for them in terms of jewelry because they stand by their pieces so much so that they are gonna make sure that you are satisfied or your money back. So that is the other reason I gladly went with them to get my own initials instead of one of those Dior necklaces because they stand by the jewelry they make and I love brands that have great customer service and great customer experiences like that. Next up, y'all literally, when I say y'all lost your minds when I showed off this necklace during everything I wore in Thailand with the gold puka shells, this is from Amazon now. Unfortunately, it is not from like the highest quality seller at Amazon. I'm gonna bring it in really close because I did get this specifically for my trip to Thailand. And as you can see, it is already kind of tarnishing and losing the gold plating. So that to me, honestly, is a big turnoff, but I did obviously wanna make sure I showed you because I've been asked so much about this. And it's currently on sale for under $20. So that's the other reason I will usually buy when it comes to inexpensive jewelry two of them because I will have one that I do not mind getting ruined and damaged, but I will go back and then buy a second one that I will keep looking nice and clean and pristine. So this is definitely one of those because, I mean, I wore this in the ocean, don't get me wrong. Like I wore this all up and down and through my five weeks in Southeast Asia. Like it was getting all the sun, all the sand, all the sweat. 
So that considered, I probably do expect that it should have been way more tarnished. But if you were wondering if this was like gold plated and going to last like for everyday wear, the answer is no, it is not. But now you know, and you can make your decision accordingly. Then from Vanessa Mooney, I get asked about this gorgeous Aztec choker necklace all the time. Vanessa Mooney, I don't know how the brand is perceived now, but I remember her being very much like the it girl jewelry brand when influencers were first starting up. It just felt like all the cool girl necklaces, Vanessa Mooney, Vanessa Mooney. And so when they dropped this necklace, of course I just feel like I had to have it. It's very easy to put on because it's got a very simple clasp, right? So you don't have to worry about trying to like grab the hook, which I really, really love. This is a 16, so as you can see, it's a little bit longer, so it gives you an option to wear a choker with it. Or if you wanna layer a longer necklace that's like 18 to 20 down here so that it can show through and have that little bit of like layering that you're looking for. I just love this as just a really fun, again, like statement necklace. It's giving something more than like the rope necklaces, the herringbone necklaces, like the super dainty thin necklaces. I must say it those feel like a waste of money to me I'm gonna say it like the super thin like like thinner than this and like just the chain I personally don't see the point in that if we're gonna wear gold jewelry or any jewelry at all because the thing is you don't need minimal jewelry to be classic to be timeless right the great thing about jewelry is it is timeless it's your jewelry like Jewelry doesn't really go out of style. So I really hate seeing they are out here trying to like position that anything that isn't minimal anything that isn't like classic is something that's not worth investing your money in this to me is something that's so gorgeous it is gold plated almost four years old now and again tarnished wear damaged wear and so that to me is another reason you always hear me telling you like please get jewelry and please get accessories that you personally love because that is really where you are going to have the opportunity to show your personality and show your zest and show your za and i just feel like Again, nothing wrong with the minimal jewelry. That's great. However, we're not gonna let those girlies try and convince us that this kind of stuff is not also timeless and it's not also a worthy investment. Cause again, like, look at, look at that detailing. Look at how gorgeous that is, right? You're just not gonna convince me that something like this also doesn't give timeless, also doesn't give classy, also doesn't give elegant. You're just not. And the moment you've all been waiting for, I already know my big dog chain. My big dog chain. I love Imani jewelry because she has so many fun chains of different sizes, different lengths. I'm gonna make sure that I link, hold on, I'm gonna look it up for you guys. So this is their Galore Cuban necklace, okay, to match the bracelet. You hear, you hear her coming, okay, look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, my alter ego, y'all know I have like four different style personalities. This is younger streetwear Jay who really wanted to be like cool girl Sierra back in the day, the cute bralettes, the baggy jeans, but was entirely too self-conscious, honestly, back in high school to wear that kind of stuff. Like I remember the one time I tried to be a little bit different. I mean, I was already different. Y'all know being like the only black girly, not the only, let me not do that, but being one of literally five black people in my entire school, right? I was different to begin with. So I remember wearing my brother's jeans because I was trying to pull off the Sierra look. And I remember sitting down in science class and this boy Kevin literally turned around and was like, why are you wearing men's jeans? What's wrong with you? Like, do you go that way? And I just was like, where is your culture, baby? Like, do you not know who Sierra is? Do you not know Aaliyah? Do you not know TLC, baby? Like, I just... So I'm finding that I'm rediscovering that side of myself now that I'm in my 30s and feeling confident in myself and in my body is really embracing a lot of that style from the Y2K in that era that I really wish I had the confidence to pull off then, but just didn't. And this necklace, this ne- <laughs> Y'all do not mind me, I promise. I'm just, <laughs> sorry, you're gonna have to talk louder. You're gonna have to talk. Totally obsessed. Again, this is one of those statement necklaces that just really is going to elevate a look an everyday look and that's what i love the most about this like i really don't layer this one often i'd like to figure out maybe if i want to but i love this by itself usually with a top kind of like this so you can see it peeking out more so than this layered over a t-shirt or something like that i just love that kind of look where it's like ba bam right and she has really really great pricing that's what i love about amani as well like most of her jewelry these big, beautiful, gorgeous Cuban links, they're not like hundreds of dollars, they're like less than $100. And sometimes she even does a buy more, save more, so you can get like the bracelet and necklace combo for like under 200. Like I literally cannot say enough, like I cannot say enough good things, like my dog chain. 
I have way more jewelry than this. If you are interested in seeing my entire gold jewelry collection, shop show me the gold in the comments below. That will let me know to make a longer video for you so you can really see the rest of my collection. But I wanted to make sure that you had my most complimented and the most asked about all in one place for you to easily come back to and reference whenever you're looking for some inspiration, where to shop for some good gold jewelry at all price points that you're gonna be able to wear for years and years and years to elevate your everyday looks or elevate again, like a look look, like if you got a nice event coming up, anything like that, as you saw, there was a variety of pieces that would literally set off your fits. And if you like seeing these videos, these collections new in my wardrobe, you wanna see more of how things fit and where I shop, and how you can be making decisions to pick pieces that not just look good, but feel good for you, for your wardrobe, to build a closet full of clothes that you cannot wait to wear. Go ahead and check out this entire playlist with even more tips and tricks for you to learn how to do that for yourself. Before you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video from me, and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching.